This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at determining the structure of a compound using analytical techniques. The determination of the structure of an unknown compound usually involves combining the information from different analytical techniques. In this video, we'll look at an infrared spectrum, a mass spectrum, and a H1 NMR spectrum. And we'll use them to deduce the structure of an unknown compound X which has the molecular formula C3H6O2. We'll start by looking at the infrared spectrum of compound X and we'll use table 26 of the data booklet. Using the data in table 26, we'll identify peaks A, B and C. Peak A occurs at a wave number of approximately 3000 centimeters to the negative one. This corresponds to the OH bond in carboxylic acids. Peak B occurs at a wave number of 1,700 centimeters to the negative one. This corresponds to a carbon to oxygen double bond in aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, and esters. And finally, we have peak C, which occurs at a wave number of approximately 1,200 centimeters to the negative one. This corresponds to a carbon to oxygen single bond in alcohols, esters, and ethers. By taking into account peak A and peak B, we can deduce that the unknown compound is a carboxylic acid. Next, we look at the mass spectrum for the unknown compound X using table 28 in the data booklet. The peak at mass to charge ratio of 74 corresponds to the mass of the molecular ion. The peak at mass to charge ratio of 45 corresponds to the fragment COOH+ and the peak at mass to charge ratio of 29 corresponds to the fragment C2H5+. And finally, we look at the H1 NMR spectrum using table 27 of the data booklet. As we can see from the spectrum, there are three main clusters of peaks, which shows that there are three different chemical environments that contain protons. By looking at the integrated trace, we can see that the ratio of protons in each chemical environment is 1 to 2 to 3. Next, we can identify the type of proton according to their chemical shift. This peak with a chemical shift of approximately 12 ppm corresponds to the proton in a carboxyl group. This peak with a chemical shift of approximately 2.5 corresponds to the two protons in a CH2 group. And finally, this peak with a chemical shift of approximately 1.2 ppm corresponds to the three protons in a CH3 group. Here we have the splitting patterns and the relative intensities of the peaks. So we have a singlet, a quartet, and a triplet. And finally, here we have the structure of the unknown compound X, which we've deduced using the combination of three analytical techniques.